<laughs> you brought up um, The Voice and Kelly Clarkson. and <clears throat> So let's just dive a little bit deeper into it. I mean, that's very impressive, especially for somebody 16 years old at the time. So how did you even find out about it and get involved in the first place? Um, I remember I was about 13 when I, I want to say the voice had reached out to me like through Instagram or something, but I wasn't, I wasn't able to go on the show because it was 16 or 15 at the time. And then they reached out again when I was 14 and I still wasn't able to. And I was like, Oh my gosh, but I'm really glad that I didn't go on it then because I was still, I was still figuring myself out, you know? Right. Um, but by 16, they had reached out one last time and I was like, you know what? I feel like at this point in time, I can hang with the big dogs. I'm going to go on against people who have been doing music longer than I've been alive, that have been singing, have been playing, recording, writing, all of it. Um, but I feel like I can, I can hang with them and I can be there with them and be present and learn so much from it. And so I ended up doing like a private audition, which I'm very fortunate for because I did not have to do the cattle call. I've done a few of those <laughs> in my lifetime for the Disney stuff and it did not work out. And I was like, I don't want to wait four hours, but that's me. That's me being spoiled. I know I am and I'm great. That's I, all right. I, I'm fine with it. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I went in and I felt like, I want to say it was around May of 2017, 2018. I think it was 2018. And I went in and it was, I sang a song and they were like, okay, great, cool. And that's it. That's all I said. And I was like, yeah, good enough. Awesome. thanks for your time. Um, <laughs> so, so I walked off and then they were like, oh, like you made it to the next round. And then I felt like every month after May till I want to say about October ish, there was like another round or another month that I had to go back and do something, um, which was really cool. I didn't realize how much I actually went into the whole casting process. Um, and then when I got on the show, it was so much fun. I remember being there and I, I mean, I still had to go to school. I had the set teacher and so I was still there doing my homework and then I would go off and then it would be, I'd go to rehearsals and then I would go to interviews and, and wardrobe and more rehearsals. And it was every, every single day. And it was the most amount of fun because I met so many incredible people. I still talk to to this day and there's some of them are like my best friends um like i was literally on the phone with like two of them earlier which i think is so cool that might have been the best part about it well not the best part but the best part about it that I, the relationships afterwards right. um but and then it was remember i felt so prepared for the audition and it was like almost a month before i was there and i was practicing and i was like you know what i feel good like, I don't have anything to worry about. Like, I'm going to leave my heart on stage and see where it goes. And then I remember it was my turn. There was, like, double doors that open up. And I was still still feeling good. I was up at 3.30 that day. Got three hours of sleep because I went, at, went to bed at midnight. Just exhausted. But I woke up and I was like, I'm refreshed. I was not refreshed. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember I was standing there. And the doors open and I was like, I got this. And I start walking, like my knees started to buckle and I was all, oh God. And I'm wearing heels and then there's stairs to get up the heels. And so I start to walk up and my, my whole thought process now is out the window. I'm like worried about if I'm going to trip, right. I'm going to fall and eat it. And they're going to turn around and be like, is she okay? Not putting, I want you on my team. Um, but thank God made it up the stairs, easy peasy. Um, and I started singing and I just, I remember I heard like the first note and then it all went kind of blank because I was just so focused and like the adrenaline and the nerves kicked in. And I'm never really, I'm not a nervous person. And like, usually when I play, I don't get too nervous, but this time it definitely did. I think because it really counted for something. It wasn't just, I could, I could perform and walk away. It was, there was something in it. Right. So I played you sang stone cold, right? Yes. I sang a Demi Lovato song and that one, if you know the song, it starts off really low. And I was also terrified of me not hitting the low note because I'd be so nervous. So I like had to change it up and then go back down to the low note so I could just kind of ease into it. Um, but then I remember I got to like a high note, like a little like falsetto moment and Kelly Clarkson turned her chair and I was just like, okay, my life is made. I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy now. I could die happy. Nothing else me. matters. <laughs> exactly. I, I always wondered that, right? As soon as you see one chair turn, all of a sudden now do you just get it feel at ease oh 100 i mean you're still striving for the other three right. but as soon still. as you get one you can just relax 
and you can really sit in the moment and just take it all in. And so that's what I did. Except I really wanted to do like a dance on stage. I'm not gonna lie. As soon as she turned her chair and I was like, I can't do this. This is this is TV. <laughs> there's no there's no doing this again. Um, and so I made it through the song and I was just in, in awe. I mean, Kelly Clarkson was she was my top choice. Like I love Blake and I love Adam and I love John Legend. Right. But I think as a someone who loves powerhouse vocals, Kelly Clarkson embodies that. Like that is she could sing the damn phone book and I would be <laughs> happy about it. Like she is just so incredible at everything she does. It doesn't matter what genre, what style of song, what she's singing. It just it always is almost perfect. Um, and that was really that was a big thing for me. And she was so real. And that was also really cool. Um, Cause she was part of the reason why I, I feel like I first started singing. I would always sing her songs because of you. Like every little talent show or TV show, let not TV show, talent show um, near my hometown that I auditioned for, it was always her song because of you. Um, and so when, when she turned her chair and she was like my first concert ever, it was just a full circle moment. And that was like really cool. Cause people are always like, don't meet your idols. And then you meet, but then you meet Kelly Clarkson and you're like, I, I'm so glad I did because she was incredible. Like one of the most genuine human beings and she genuinely cares for her team.